Hello, welcome to another episode of The Whipping Prophet by Sister Philomena. So today I am here to motivate you, especially those people who are having hard times in their lives. Do you know that Satan has no power over you? Do you know that you are highly placed over Satan? Do you know that his followers are more faithful to him than Christians are to God. When I look around and see how people are suffering, I mean the man-made suffering, sicknesses, diseases, hardships, frustrations, and a long wait for God to finally give an answer to our prayers. I normally ask, what is it that we are doing wrong? Are some Christians more blessed than the others? And why is it so? But our God say that he shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. What actually are we doing wrong? That the devil chews Christians like chewing gum, sucking all the sugars. In form of strength, faith, patience and hopes. Before spitting them out and giving back frustrations, disappointment, setbacks. And so on. God is almighty. Hey, you child of God. Yes, I'm talking to you. You don't know the treasure that is hidden in you. We are like diamonds. We have, we have to remove the moth surrounding the diamonds. The suns, the clay surrounding this diamond. We have to wash it out. Before we see the sparkling. The Bible says that God did dialogue before creating man. He didn't just say, let there be man and there was man. He entered into an agreement with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. God was not talking to the angels when he said, let us make man according after our own image and likeness. No, God was talking to his son and the Holy Spirit. Human beings are the only things that have breath bread of God in them. And not only that, they are also made after God's image and likeness. Wow! We are the children of God. Do you know what that means? It means you are now in possession of a blank check to draw money from your father's account without any limits. Let me bring it closer to you. This example is not perfect, but it relates well with what I'm about to say. You all know the kings and the queens of our time. Think of how their children and their grandchildren are faring, how they have everything they want, how it is not compulsory that they will walk before they eat, how they are the highlights in the news most seasons. Then narrow it down to a child of the Most High God, the King of Kings, the God of Gods, the God who opens iron doors, highly electrocuted doors, the God who says a word and it comes to pass. Then the Bible says we are joined hands. With Jesus Christ, do you know what it means? Child of God, do you know what that means? I want to ask you, are you still joined here with Christ or are you badged name with Christ? We are gods. We are gods. We are gods. Say it loud and clear to yourself, to your problems, to your disappointments. To your sorrows, there is an anointing that breaks every yoke in the presence of God. Satan has no right over you. Do you know Satan? That Satan is a patient dog. He monitors you, trails you, even if it takes, you know, even if it takes him 20 years, it doesn't matter to him as far as he gets you at the end. Satan knows that we don't know our what and the worst is. 
he Satan has been in heaven before and that is he knows everything about our God he knows the capability of our God more than us human he's extremely jealous of you child of God but you don't know he looks for cases to bring before God against you he's ready to point accusing fingers at every one of us before God He's always reminding God that we are not worthy of his love and blessings. You remember the case of Job. You remember what Satan said against Job. He said that Job's faithfulness to God was due to God's blessings. God gave a go ahead order to Satan and he went and destroyed Job's joy and peace of mind. There is something spectacular about their conversation. God was bragging about his child, Job. God was proud of Job. God boasted before Satan. God was so sure that no matter what, Job will always love him, adore him, and worship him. Children of God, Satan has no power over you. Nothing happens to you without the knowledge of God. God knows when you are drawing close to him due to genuine love and when you're drawing close to him because of prosperity, blessings of all kinds. We cannot cheat God. God gave us conditions for restoration in, according to Deuteronomy 30. In New Testament, God says, Seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. I hope you have come across this verse in the Bible. God didn't say trade by butter. God gave the rules and regulations and we follow. But there is something I found very interesting about this God. He doesn't force us to worship him. During the time of the 12 tribes of uh, Israel, he appears as if God were constantly angry at them. He punished them so many times to the extent of placing a curse on them. It is a gain and profit for us that we may get to hear the word of God. Now God is silent. But rather, he says, he knocks at the door of your heart. They will only enter if you open. For some people, it is, if I get that contract, then I will know that God exists and the countless counts go on and on and on. You are empowered by God programmed by God to do all things. Remember the word of Jesus. If you have faith, even if it is as small as the mustard seed, you can do all things. You can move mountains. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I repeat, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. If your pastor speaks prosperity words or blessings on your head, if it is not in alignment with God, what God has for you, my dear, they are empty words. You are the miracle. The prayers of your pastor can only work on you if you truly believe and have faith. He who has no faith receives nothing. If actually God has given us a blank check, bank accounts are loaded with money i am just thinking aloud what actually are our problems what are our problems even manna that fell from heaven could not be eaten like that it still has to undergo processing what are our problems christians hasn't god done enough what actually do we want from god what is it that he has not done from us I think at this point in time, I will leave you to your thoughts. May God bless you. I'm the weeping prophet, Sister Fleming.